I'm going to introduce you to integers now. All an integer is, is a whole number that either has a positive or negative value. Oftentimes, to get an idea of what integers mean and what they are, we like to use a number line so that we have a visual representation for that. So in the middle here, we have zero. Zero would be considered a neutral number. It doesn't have a positive value or a negative value, and it divides the two groups. Anything to the left of a zero is a negative value. Anything to the right of the zero has a positive value. And to put these into terms that we're a little more comfortable with in the everyday world, I like to think of negative numbers as numbers or values I owe, money I owe, whereas positive are dollars or money that I have in my pocket. Just to help me distinguish between the two and better understand how these values are interacting. No matter where I'm at on the number line, the rule is always if I move to the left on the number line, my values are decreasing. So that means if I'm looking at the negative 2 on the number line and the negative 6 on the number line, because the negative 2 is to the right of it, it's actually worth more than the negative 6. The negative 6 has a lower value than the negative 2. To put that in terms of every day to make it more relatable, would you rather pay $6 for something or $2 for something? I would rather only pay $2, which makes it more desirable or a greater value to me, and so it's worth more. Anytime we're on the number line and we move to the right, these values are increasing. Again, we can reference that negative 6 and negative 2. Negative 2 is closer to the 0 or the positive side, so it's greater. And as we moved up the number line, 2 was to the right. Okay. Um, and the other thing to always be aware of is no matter what, a positive is always worth more than the negative. So at any point you're trying to compare numbers and one is positive and one is negative, you're always going to say the positive is greater because positives are worth more than negatives. Another thing that we look at related to integers is what's called absolute value. And all absolute value means is how far away from zero a number is. And when it comes to this, the, we never care whether we have moved to the right or to the left on the number line. It's how far away from zero or how many places away from zero we've moved. So uh, again, absolute value is the distance from zero. We don't have to specify to the left or to the right. It's just places away. So if it says the absolute value of negative three, that's saying how far away from zero is a negative three. One, two, three places. So the absolute value of negative three is three. How far away from zero? What's the absolute value of five? How far away from zero is it? One, two, three, four, five. So the absolute value of five is five. Absolute values always simplify to a positive number because again, we don't care whether we've gone towards the positives or towards the negatives. It's just counting how many places away. The only time that that might result differently is if there happened to be a negative in front of the absolute value sign. Go with a 2 in the absolute value bars and a negative sign in front of that. In solving this, it says we need to find the absolute value of 2 to start with. The absolute value of 2 is 2. But then with the negative in front of that, it said the opposite of the absolute value. Because any negative in front of an absolute value sign or parentheses literally translates to the opposite of. So the opposite of a positive 2 is a negative 2. The only time then absolute values are going to be negative is if there was a negative sign in front of the absolute value markers.